you have to enjoy my squealing because it's way quiet without you guys here. Let's start with prayer tonight, please. Join me in prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for GROW. Thank you for my GROW kiddos, near and far, those that I miss so very much and that I look forward to hugging again one day soon. I pray that you will bless our GROW year, you would help us to grow closer to you, and you will bless the families as they learn more about you. We ask these things in your son's holy name. Amen. All right, well, we're going to talk a little bit today. It's going to be not the way we normally do grow. Today we're going to talk about what grow is going to look like this year. Grow is going to be online, at least through, the de through December, and then we'll try to decide again what we think is the best and safest option for us. By the way, did you know that this is the 10th year of grow? So I wore my first year of grow shirt. I figure each week I can wear one of the grow shirts from old years. So first years for tonight's 10 year anniversary. The theme for grow this year is all about trust. I don't know about you guys, but I've been having kind of a hard time this year with all the crazy stuff going on in our world, trusting that God has a plan in it all and that he's going to take care of me, even though the Bible says it again and again. And so I thought, you know, trust is going to be a really great theme for us this year. And this is our verse that we're going to remember all year long. It goes like this. When I am afraid, I put my trust in you. And that's from Psalm 56.3 in the middle of the Bible. Open up your Bibles and highlight that verse for me. So I'll read it one more time. When I am afraid, I put my trust in you. We'll come back to that. So here's the deal with Grow Online this year. We're going to really, really, really miss being in person. But did you know that you do some of your best learning, your best faith learning at home with your parents? When you see what your parents believe, it helps you to have an even stronger faith, even more than what we can do here. So I'm thankful that you're going to have this time with your family. Also, this year, when we ask questions about the stories, parents, don't worry. Nobody has all the answers for the Bible. Not me, not my husband, who is the pastor. Nobody does. Just do your best. Share your faith with the kiddos. They want to know what you think, what you believe. And I'll talk a little bit more about that in a second. You don't have to talk a long time about what we do at GROW. If you're like my husband, Stephen, you think you need to talk forever, but it doesn't need to be long. It can be short. It can be real easy to understand. Just as long as you touch on faith, that's the important part. All right, so each week, on Wednesday nights, we're going to post on our GROW Facebook page lessons. There will be one lesson for preschool through second graders and one lesson for third through sixth graders. And the reason for that is because they read out of a story Bible for the younger kids and the actual Bible for the older kids. So I wanted it to still make sense for the age groups. So if you have people that are in both age groups, you could maybe set one up in one room and one up in the other room, or you could decide which one works best for your family. Alrighty. For those who have already registered for GROW, either by mailing in your registration form or emailing us your information, thank you for doing that. Because we have your registration form, each week we can mail you the activity that will be um, going with that week's lesson, as well as a lesson sheet that will have the questions we'll be asking and the answers to those questions. It will also have the verses that we'll be working on. There's a reason we do the memory verses each week, and that is because when you are in difficult situations, it is so much easier to have faith in God when you can recall important verses in your life that will help you get through the storm, much like what we're going through today. So if you have not gotten your registration form to us, get it to us, mail or email as soon as possible. If you have not been able to get the registration form, there will be a link on our um, Grow Facebook page to the church website, and you can print one off from there. All right, what else? We talked about registration forms. 
There's going to be a video. Usually at Grow, we have a video that goes each week with the lesson. We'll just link that in the comments below um, so that you guys can watch the video. Sometimes the videos are exactly what the lesson is, and sometimes they're just a topic that relates to that story. But be sure that you take the time because we try to do Grow in lots of different learning styles, giving all kinds of kiddos ways to understand the stories lots of different ways. So watch those videos. Now, it's a really big deal at the beginning of every year, third graders, when you receive your Bibles. And this year is no different. We want you to get your Bibles. And so if you are someone who has been coming to grow or who is a member of our church that has been in Sunday school or that we know that you are around and you're a third grader, we will be bringing your Bible to you in some way, shape, or form. If you are in third, fourth, fifth, or sixth grade and you don't have a Bible yet and we don't know about it, let us know. We will get you a Bible. We want nothing more than to give you the Bible. And it's free. It is totally free for you, just like our GROW program. So don't worry about that at all. The, pro the Bible that we use for GROW for the little kids, if you want to get one at home, is the GROW Spark Story Bible. It's a hardcover book. And for the third through sixth graders, we use the Spark NRSV Bible. Bibles are different versions, and the NRSV version is the one that we use for grow. All right, any other news I need to tell you? If you have any questions at any time, just feel free to reach out to the church. Contact Pastor Browers. He'll answer your questions, or he'll get you to me, and I'll answer them as well. All right, well, it's time to start grow. You make sure to watch that video that we link below. Here is our year verse again. When I am afraid, I put my trust in you. And that's from Psalm 56, 3. My turn first, repeat after me. When I am afraid, you're supposed to echo me, Stephen. When I am afraid. Thank you. I put my trust in you. I put my trust in you. Now we're going to do it up high. Woo! best robot voice when I am afraid when I am afraid I put my trust in you I put my trust in you and remember that was from Psalm 56 3 highlighted in your Bible mark up your Bibles that's so important we also have a month memory verse we try to memorize a verse each month that helps us grow our base of Bible verse knowledge and this one for our September month goes like this trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. And that's from Proverbs 3, 5. Now in your NRSV Bibles, it says it a little differently. It says, trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not rely on your own insight. Highlight that verse. And maybe you want to write on, on the side and lean not on your own understanding. There's just different ways to say the same thing. The verse we're going to memorize is the NIV version. So one more time. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. And lean not on your own understanding. And lean not on your own understanding. That's from Proverbs 3, 5. So highlight that verse in your Bibles as well. Now this is the littles version of tonight's uh, video. So we're going to read your story for tonight. We thought it would be appropriate to read a story about trusting in God. And our story tonight is called... A storm. Jesus and his friends, the disciples, met by a lake one day. They were going to go fishing together. Creak, creak. The fishing boat rocked as Jesus put one leg over the side of the boat and pulled himself in. Follow me, Jesus said to his disciple friends. One by one, they climbed into the boat. Finally, they pushed off from shore. Jesus' friends talked and laughed in the boat. They told stories about all the fish they caught on this lake. What was your best fishing trip, Jesus? One of his friends asked. But Jesus did not answer. He was sound asleep. Gray clouds came into the sky and pushed out the sun. The boat rocked harder now. The first raindrops came plop, plop. Kind of like what it's been like outside this week. The disciples held their cloaks around them as the rain fell harder. Purr. 
The rain was cold and the wind was blowing strong against their skin. Waves came over the top of the boat, splash. Lightning flashed all around the boat, thunder cracked. Jesus' friends yelled, we shouldn't be out here on the lake. How could Jesus sleep? Flashes of light and gusts of wind came every second. Jesus' friends couldn't wait any longer. They shook Jesus awake. Help us, Jesus, they cried. Jesus opened his eyes and saw the fear on their faces. Why are you so afraid, he asked. Jesus stood up in the boat and lifted his arms. Peace, be still. In an instant, waves lay down on the lake. Shh. Clouds made a space for the sun. The raindrops stopped and there was silence instead of thunder. Jesus' friends stared at each other. Did you see that? Jesus saved us. We're alive. We survived that awful storm. Thank you, Jesus. And down here it says, show someone how your face would look before, during, and after the storm if you had been on the boat. So that's tonight's story all about when the disciples were afraid and they put their trust in Jesus and Jesus did this big, amazing thing. I hope you take the time to watch the video because it's a great way to learn about it. Now, normally you will have questions at this point to answer with your family that will come in your mailing, but we didn't do mailings this week because we didn't have everybody's registration forms yet. So here's what I want you to talk about with your parents, with your family, your brothers and your sisters. I want you to share a time in the last six months during this quarantine when you felt really afraid and you didn't quite know what to think. Share about that time. Maybe you have more than one time. Maybe you have a time that wasn't during the quarantine that you felt really scared. What helped you to not be so afraid? Did it feel good to be with your family when you felt afraid? Do you have a dog or a cat you maybe like to cuddle when you're afraid? Does it maybe feel bet better to be back in school now because that feels a little bit more normal? When you were afraid, did you take out your Bible and find a story about trusting God like our story we found today? I want you to pause this video and take the time to discuss that with your family. So we're almost done for tonight. Your activity, because you didn't get mailed one, is going to be linked below today's Facebook page. It's a prayer jar, and I made one, but mine is kind of sad because I didn't have blue food coloring. And the idea is you fill half of it with water, half of it with oil, then you put a few drops of blue food coloring in, that's the part I was missing, and some blue or whatever color you want, glitter. And the words that go with it are these, when you are nervous, upset, or afraid, shake this bottle. The oil, water, and glitter will mix. Pray to God until the water and oil separate. Do you see how the glitter is still floating? It's not quite split yet. It isn't as clear as it was when we started. That gives you great time to spend with God, to pray about the things that you're nervous about. God wants to know when you're afraid. He wants to help you, and he wants to hear from you so very much. So this gives you a great, a great time to spend with Jesus. We have one more thing for you tonight, and that is our song. And then we'll end with a prayer, and we'll see you next week. So Pastor Brewers is coming on up. Hey, we're going to sing for you.
ocean is your love for me. You're with me on the mountains and the valleys below. You are right here beside me everywhere that I go. To you, oh Lord, I lift up my soul. In you, I trust, oh Lord. To you, oh Lord, I lift up my soul. In you, I trust, oh Lord. Higher than the mountains, deeper than the sea, wider than the oceans is your love for me. You're with me on the mountains and the valleys below. You are right there beside me everywhere that I go. To you, oh Lord, I lift up my soul. In you I trust, oh Lord. To you, oh Lord, I lift up my soul. To you I trust, oh Lord. Will you pray with me? And you're going to be my echo. So repeat after me. Or sorry, you're not echoing. You're doing the verse. And your verse goes like this. When I am afraid, I put my trust in you. So that's your part for tonight's prayer. Hold your hands and bow your heads with me, please. Dear God, thank you for grow your part. When, when I, am I am afraid, afraid I, put I put my, my trust, trust in, in you. Thank you for this time with my family, your part. When, when I, I am afraid, I put, I put my trust in you. Thank you that I can trust you no matter what I'm facing, your part. When, when I, I am afraid, afraid I, put I put my trust in you. I love you, Lord. In your most holy name we pray. Amen. Happy Grow Night, guys. I miss you. Take care.